what's up everybody it's Jason skills back again with another video it's been a day day and a half or so and um, I am just rocking one of the recent pickups in that uh, big quality control HQ and uh, La Vida S in news labels uh, distro pack that I got this is a wicked record uh, Voca Voco protesta it's actually banned from Japan, from Tokyo, Japan, hardcore. And I just learned something new today. I don't know, maybe I've heard of this before, but I just never remembered it. Um, obviously, these song titles don't look very Japanese whatsoever. So if you do a quick Google search, Google Translate, <laughs> uh, it's actually a language called Esposento. Esposento? Uh, and it is kind of a mix, a melange of... Uh, French and Spanish and other, and maybe English as well. Um, and it's spoken mostly in Europe. Uh, there's a lot of Google searches of like, is it a dead language? Apparently it's also spoken in China and Japan too. So, uh, and when I pull up the lyric sheet, you get the great insert. So really good hardcore punk here. Uh, anarchy, po uh, anarchist punk as well. Um, this was recorded in 2012. And uh, some of the lyrics uh, are in Japanese, and then also in this es Esperanto uh, language. So there, learn something new every day. And uh, that's not the purpose of this video, though. The purpose of the video is the mail. We got mail, including a VCLT. What? Got a VCLT here from Michael Pilmer. Can't believe it. Um... Super pumped about this. Thank you, man. Uh, we got Fragile Recorded Media on the back. That's my first indication that it was something special. Uh, and then I looked at it and was like, wait a minute, this is from the U.S. Wait a minute, this is from North Carolina. Raleigh. Raleigh? Rally? Raleigh? I don't know. Uh, Michael is, of course, my first ever North Carolina friend, I believe. And uh, I didn't really know much of anybody from North Carolina, but now I do. And thank you, Michael. This is exciting. I have cut it on the top here, but I've not gone inside. Uh, and then after this, I'm going to go into some uh, regular old mail here. Some Obviously, some records have come in. Um, but let's get into this new package. So straight up, inside we have another package. <laughs> so Michael, you have definitely got me on this one uh and this is from japan so hence the japanese uh hardcore uh just coincidence really but i don't know what this i have a feeling this is a tape i was kind of hoping it was the tizzy tape but i don't think there's a tizzy tape out of japan unless you've mailed it all the way to japan and back to yourself um this is interesting uh man like you haven't you haven't even opened this up yet and uh, yet you sent it to me. So this is, I mean, this is like a mystery thing. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of intrigued by this whole thing. Um, you know, it just shows that the VC is a global organization. Or a global organization. Michael, um, I think you already get punk points just for putting a package in a package and making me get some scissors out. So I, I try to get my packages ready before I do these videos, right? I try to be pro, a little bit pro, but I'm not pro at all. Okay, I'm cutting, I'm cutting the top here. This is one of the uh, first couple of VCLTs I've ever got. Obviously, the first from Ryan Kidd. Big up, my man. He sent me some Goner stuff. Oh, this isn't a cassette. This is a CD. Jesus, why have I been shaking it like that? <laughs> That's not good. Okay, Silica Gel. Noisy Children Party. Hmm, are we continuing a Baby Gerber festival theme? Potentially, Michael? Uh, weird. Okay, Wif Wiffle Fist Productions, 1993. Wow, okay. Interesting stuff going on here. Uh, song title-wise, Silica Gel. Noisy Children Party. I'm going to have to look this up. I have no clue, no clue what the Michael Man has sent me. I uh, Noisy always works for me. Uh, it could be punk as well. Oh, there's a note in here. Okay, good. I like when people include a note. 
that may explain some of the mystery, folks. There's a note in here. Oh, interesting. Wow, Michael, you've, you're a man of mystery. So, so Michael said this with a note and it went through the Japanese mail? Nah, this is confusing. Maybe he opened it at some point? He must have opened it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see he opened it. Okay, wow. Oof. And it doesn't take much to get me going here. Uh, we got some cool stickers. What's up with this? Rabbit salesman. Nice. Love cool stickers. Love inserts. Yep. I threw up. Mm hmm And Devo Obsesso. This is Michael's official business card. How cool is that? We're at a business meeting. Hey, guys. Uh, here's my card. Awesome. Thought you might dig this. An industrial noise experimental band I was in. Wow, this is a band Michael was in. How cool is that? Huh. In the 90s, we released this one album called Noisy Children Party on, on CD back in 93 on our own Wiffle, Wiffle Fest label. Wow. Negative Land Sealand label helped us distribute it. Then in 2016, it's miraculously reissued on a small Texas record label, limited edition color vinyl gatefold. Hmm. Could be interesting. A dream come true for sure. I've also included a sticker of my 80s punk rock band, The Rabid Salesman. Whew. And an I threw up sticker of my personal art project since 96. Yep. Very cool. I will put that on some gear box, I think, and uh, it will definitely live on, my friend. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for the cool tapes. Oh, man, Michael, thank you, man. And he even did some drawing, too. I got some, like, original Michael Pilmer art. <sighs> what a really nice uh, gesture, man. Thank you for sending me some of your own material. I'm going to dig into this. Never heard of it before, but that happens a lot because there's so much music out there. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Really, really appreciate it. Um, you really, you really stumped me with the Japanese inside of the other le uh, letter that also had some fun element too. So that's the VCLT portion of this video. Uh, now I don't think we can top that because <laughs> these are records. I'm not going to get confused that this is a cassette by any means, unless it's a huge cassette, like a big square one. And uh, I think by the size of these, they it's like one record. I think we're getting one record each box. So let's go with this one first. This is Discogs stuff. Strictly Discogs. No Amazon here. In this video, that is. Um, I'm still recuperating from that huge Rachel the Music Man interview. How cool is that? How fun was that? on a Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon. What day is it? It's Thursday. It's Tuesday afternoon. Well packed. We got more cardboard, guys. And, oh, okay, interesting. We've got some, uh, looks like techno. Techno electronic music. Ah, yes. This, I think I ordered this directly from the label. And if this is from Switzerland, then I will know that. Yep, Swiss Post, 17 euro, wow. Switzerland is a very rich place to go. I, we have visited it once, and uh, I, it was where I bought the most expensive ever sandwich in, a, in an airport. You know, airport sandwiches are already too expensive. The records, Lux Rec. This is a, one of my favorite electronic labels actually out there, and it's based out of Switzerland. And this is the other record that I got. And he put it in a separate, I'm sure it just came in this uh, clear thing. So CCO, The Secret Life of a Transistor Baseline. And CCO, Music for Cosmonauts. Man, I am going to definitely dig into these. I have a fair amount on this label. I probably could do a video at this point of the Lux Rex. Um, it tends towards a little bit heavy synth, heavy in, uh, and a little bit of industrial EBM um, angle to the techno, and uh, I dig it. Cool, cool label. Now, next. Oh, I didn't do a lot of cutting for this, but 
opens up easy. Uh, this is, I recognize this, this logo. This is a good uh, record shop and distro, I guess, in uh, Germany. HHV. They seem to sell just about everything and anything. And their shipping is not too bad. I don't like these kind of triple open packages, but okay. Ah, we've got some metal to round out this video. Nasty Savage. Uh, this is something I did not have. I have a, na a couple Nasty Savage records, but this is a reissue of their cult demo tape. For the first time on vinyl, Wage of Mayhem, an outrageous selection of rare and unreleased tracks from the early days. Dive in bloody pit of unchained metal savagery. Now that's one hell of a hype sticker that you just can't, you can't let go of that kind of sticker. Even though I find this bag is a little dirty. Wow, ah, okay, this is like um, fake ringware you know, on purpose. It's a brand new album. Woo, wow, hello. The Nasty Savage Boys, who knew they were that nasty and that savage? So we've got some metal listening to do here as well. See the vinyl too, just plain black vinyl. The labels. Is that static? Oh yeah, that's that's heavy static in there. Um, reissued on the Foud label, F O A D, Foud Records. I gotta, I gotta get this all the way out of the paper. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen that kind of static on paper before. So kids at home, you're learning all kinds of things here about static, about um, Putting mail inside of mail. Uh, there's an insert here. That's why I'm belaboring this a little bit. Whoa. Holy crap. We got a full-on zine here. This is like a booklet. Wow. Wage of Mayhem. Look at this artwork. Heavy metal. Uh, we got photos galore. We got some lyrics that look like that too. Some, some uh, interview. With Nasty Savage, you got some old school flyers of Nasty Savage. Um, these guys American, I think. Why am I feeling like Jersey? I don't know. Wow, lots of cool old flyers. Love that kind of shit. Um, yeah, straight out of the eighties. Good package. Probably paid a decent price for that, too. So, Wage of Mayhem, the early demo recordings of Nasty Savage. Some techno, some Michael Pilmer uh, productions, and uh, VCLT. Oh, one last CD that I picked up, I uh, already opened. I just got one of these, too. Dead Moon, uh, 90s-ish era, up into the 2000s, I guess. Garage Rock uh, from the U.S. And... Uh, this one is called Strange, Strange Pray Tell. Some Dead Moon, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do some reviewing of that. I don't think I think these guys are a little more like a Neil Young than say a Cramps for some reason. But Garage Rock, nevertheless. Alright, kids. That's all I got for now. Uh, there's loads more records staring at me right now, and I gotta get into them all. So I'll see you guys soon. Uh, Michael Pilmer's live stream is tonight. Definitely check that out uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern, I think, too. And then my live streams on Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Definitely, definitely check that out as well. See you guys later.